Today we're talking about how buy to let mortgages are calculated. When you are in the market to purchase an investment property, what you earn and spend is less relevant than if you are trying to purchase a house to live in. Most lenders will want to see that there is some kind of employment income, but a few won't even specify a minimum. However, the usual amount they like to see is about 20 or 25,000 a year. How much they're willing to lend you is directly linked to the amount of rent that you will receive. So just to clarify, if you wanted to purchase a property valued at 200,000, but you have no intention of living in it, and therefore it is characterized as an investment property or a buy to let purchase, then the average lender would want you to raise a 50,000 pound deposit for the 200,000 pound purchase. So your maximum mortgage loan would be 150,000 pounds. However, they will only lend you this amount of money if the rent stacks up. They run a particular calculation to see if the numbers work. The calculation takes into account the rent having to cover the mortgage at 125%. So if the mortgage is for £100 a month, the rent must be for at least £125. However, they also apply what is known as a pay rate. It is usually about 5%. So this highlights how important using a financial professional is.